On a clear night, we can see thousands of stars in the sky, just with the naked eye. Looking through telescopes, astronomers can see millions of stars and galaxies, capturing light that has traveled unimaginable distances to reach us. But beyond the beauty and majesty of these night skies, there are billions of cosmic objects that we can't see, because they are too dark, too far away, or simply hidden behind huge clouds of dust or gas. We know that they are there because they fill the universe with different frequencies of radio waves, and we can see these with radio telescopes. Radio astronomy opens up a whole universe of discovery, and scientists are about to make a giant leap forward in radio astronomy capability. For decades, scientists have been developing the technology to build a radio telescope so big and powerful that it will see all the way back to the beginning of the universe. The telescope is known as the Square Kilometre Array, or SKA, and it is a project so ambitious that it will skip a generation of radio telescopes. You're looking at the newly completed 36-dish ASCAP telescope, built in Australia to help develop technology for the SKA. The SKA will be built in both Australia and South Africa, and will be made up of millions of antennas, linked together by fibre optic networks. It will feed unprecedented quantities of data into dedicated supercomputers. Australia's core site at the Murchison Radio Astronomy Observatory in the Western Australian outback will host two different antenna types which will tell us different things about our universe. These two groundbreaking antenna arrays are a survey array and a low frequency array. In phase one of the SKA, the 36-dish ASCAP telescope will be expanded to create a 96-dish SKA survey telescope. Work will begin on phase one in 2016. Every dish in this array will stand three stories tall and be a highly sensitive precision instrument. Utilizing CSIRO phased array feed receiver technology, these dishes will be able to capture an area of the sky 30 times larger than previous radio receivers. Working together, the 96 dish array will be the fastest survey radio telescope in the world. Also in Australia, a low frequency array made of waist high dipole antennas will look to the farthest reaches of the universe to learn about its history. As the universe has expanded, the earliest radio waves from just after the Big Bang have stretched out and shifted from high frequency to lower frequency waves. Capturing these waves is the easy part. The heart of the telescope is its complex computer systems and advanced data processing capability which will tell us how the first stars and galaxies formed. Construction of SKA Phase 2 is due to begin in 2020, with the final design dependent on the performance of Phase 1. The current design proposes expanding Australia's low-frequency array from hundreds of thousands of antennas to a vast network of 5 million antennas working together across the Australian continent. By building a telescope on such an unprecedented scale, scientists hope that the SKA will make discoveries we've never even dreamt of and change the way we think of the universe.